M0 FXB, welcome back to the channel. Just a quick one here on the X6200 and WSJTX FT8 mode. First thing is connect the USB cable to the port, the USB C port where my finger is marked DEV. Plug the other end into your PC. Now right click your Windows squares, right click, go to Device Manager. And in this section, select ports, double click ports. And you've got USB enhanced serial A, C342, 39 and 47 are my numbers, A and B. You use the B one for FT8, so it's 47. Click it, right click it, go to properties. And I've done this on both. Go to ports. So just OK that once you've set the 19200, click OK, close that window. Now when, once you've opened WSJTX, which you can download from here, I'll put the link in the description. Just go here and then scroll down and I downloaded the, the Win64 package and just run it and then it opened up with this window here. And it did ask for my settings. So all I did was go to file, top left, settings. And you've got some tabs here at the top. So one of them says general, you get your call sign in and your grid number. So you go I081 is mine, MI, click OK. Go back to that, file, settings. I don't think I changed anything else. Then radio, so that's the next tab across which is radio. I selected the X6100 and COM47 and 19200 here. And then CAT, I didn't do anything else. And then when I tested CAT, it went green. There you go, it's gone green now. And you could even test the PTT. There you go. And you can see that the Zygu is going into PTT. Audio wise, you go to the next tab across audio and I've selected microphone 3 USB audio device and speaker USB audio device and that seems to have worked fine then if you look at my input signal here it's about 60 to 70 it's in the green to adjust that I right click my Windows speaker go to sound settings and I get this window and all I did was move these sliders on speaker and on microphone until it's in the green basically. And you can you know you can play with these as you test it. So then we've got our tune button here, just here on the right hand side it says the word tune. You can press click that for testing. It does go into transmit as you can see. Click that and you'll try to get your AG, AGC quite low. Sorry, I meant ALC. Now what I do, I don't really use FT8 that much, to be honest. I just put it into Enable TX here. And I just sit back and watch it go. And hope that I start to get some contacts. If you right click on this sort of grid that's falling down if you right click and look for a gap you can right click and go set TX RX offset set RX and TX offset so you right click uh, and then keep it the uh, enable TX and then just wait and we're only on five watts if I could put my power supply on we'll get the power up oh saying power fail or well, we'll keep trying So give it a go. It does say USB digital on the screen. We can change bands just by using the software. I've rebooted. It's not saying power fail at the moment. So that's a good signal. I mean, good sign. We've got our little yellow line here. So I've literally just done this. I'm not really teaching. I'm more just doing it in front of you. And I'm hoping that I get a couple of, co couple of contacts. Let me know of any other settings that you'd recommend that I change. I know about grid tracker. Show the full screen of it going into transmit. See the way it goes red here? 
I have tuned it, so the SWR is down. Power is five watts. Should be able to go higher because I've got the power supply. No, I've gone off frequency there, my mistake. So go to there are eight watts now. SWR seems fine. I'll let it run for a few minutes and then come back. And you can click some of these stations as well. Got another one here that's transmitting M0 ELS. Look, let's double click that. See if it makes contact. So we've double clicked it, it's put it in the right hand list, and it will now sort of automatically try and contact that station. The thing I would like to know is how to how to measure the ALC. I can see it's showing SWR. Power S. That will be handy. Anyone else has worked that one out? Oh, it looks like we got that contact. Look. Well, that's something. Something worked. And now it's going into sort of auto reply. As you can see there. Okay. Let's try one more. Let's wait for it to say 7.3. There you are, seven three. So now, if you set it up, it'll send you a little banner that you can save. So let's try another one. We've done M zero ELS. Let's try MM three JFM. Okay. Move on that. Keep going. Double click that. Something must be right because it worked. <laughs> Not very far, but. And you can see the sort of stations that are coming in on my grid here. UK, and then you've got a, a DK there. You better enable TX. <clears throat> so give it a go. Down, I, I need to download Grid Track. I haven't used it for ages. So thanks for watching so far. Um, far I'll show you my settings one last time. Settings on the general M zero FXB in my location. Radio is the com. The radio one nine two hundred. Audio are the two USB audio device. I haven't done anything else. I know. I know. There's lots you can do with this. And um, yeah, it looks like. Um, no contact with, oh isn't that funny, we've got M0 ELS again, let's, I'm not sure why that's gone through again, but anyway it did, thanks for watching my YouTube channel, bye for now.